Hi, I'm Darnell Cox with Live Young Lifestyle, and today I'm gonna go over my morning skincare routine. I get a lot of requests about this. I did film my evening skincare routine, which is where all you know the big guns come out. So make sure that you watch that as well. But there are some things that I always do every morning, and you know, I posted a blog on my Instagram, which was me doing this with this Nurse Jamie Uplift. And I literally wake up every morning, have green tea and uplift. I love this facial massager because I feel that it completely depuffs your skin. You know, when you wake up and sometimes your eyes are a little baggy and you've got puffiness, and this literally just rolls away the puff. So there is some lymphatic drainage involved. Um, which I love. So I always start my morning uplifting. If you did not see my YouTube video on dry brushing, you really need to watch that. Dry brushing is so great for uh, cell renewal, for um, skin rejuvenation, to increase circulation, as well as just stimulating a little bit of collagen. This facial brush is by a company called Karma, Karma Meiju. A little hard to pronounce, but I love it. It's super soft and you just dry brush in a circular kind of motion. You can get right up into your eyes. I even do my eyelids. So I want all of that flakiness that was that might have been caused from any retinoids that I used the night prior um, to kind of be able to you know, slough off any of that dry skin. So again, before I even wash my face, I'm already uplifting and I'm already dry brushing. In my last video, I said, do not waste your money on face wash because it washes off of your face. Um, so Pfizerderm is about $6 or so. You can get it on, in any drugstore, also Amazon. Um, so I'm just going to wash a little bit off. Just because I have layers of products from last night, so I wanna make sure I have everything off my face. So while my face is still wet, whew, I can't even see. I use this facial scrub from Zo Skin Health called Exfoliating Polish. It is super fine, but it's, it's granulated, so it will literally take off any of those dead skin cells. I have a lot of pink in my face, so you might see my face start to turn a little red um, from this. No worries. It does go away. Um, but we're just resurfacing our skin a little bit. I do use it on my neck as well, but I didn't want to get my shirt completely wet. And I pat dry. I use this at night as well. This is the, the Obagi Zo Skin Health Tea Pads. Which the, with the salicylic acid. So again, I'm drying my skin out, which if you watch the other video, you know, seems counterintuitive, but that is the way that we get those, those skin cells underneath to start behaving like they were when they were younger. So we dry them out and then underneath their signals, oh, it's dry, let's make some more moisture. So how you really wanna moisturize your skin is by drinking a lot of water and eating a lot of fatty fish. The moisture should come from within, not from the outside. When we start layering a bunch of moisture outside, it makes our skin cells lazy. So we don't wanna do that. So I just dried my face out again, and now I'm gonna do a CE Ferulic Acid. This one is by SkinCeuticals. I've used it for years. I love this company. They do really good work. Um, they have a lot of research that is only doing um, anti-aging products, so I love this. It's expensive though. So this is about, depending on where you buy it, around $149. It does last a while, but it's still $149. So I found this company called Timeless that also makes a 20% CE Ferulic Acid, and this is $20. So I am testing out now if I feel that, you know, it's the same strength, but I'm mostly using this on the rest of my body to see, you know, if I make, if it shows a difference. So here's what it looks like. It's like a, it's very liquidy. So you're putting a few little drops, I'd say like four or five drops. And it's very, um, it's very thin, the consistency of this. And the trick of layering any skincare product is to do the thinnest one first. 
because what you don't want to happen is for the thicker ones to create a barrier and then the thinner ones cannot get cannot penetrate that it's kind of like dressing for the snow you wouldn't put on your long johns over the top of your parka so that's why we always start with these kind of light serums first again this was the timeless one that i, I tend to use more on my neck and chest just because it's a little cheaper and i'm testing it out so it is a really good company that i that i really like i i you know i like companies that you know they're not making handbags or eyeshadow they're just doing anti-aging and their research is going into that so this is a very affordable alternative this is a 20 percent ce ferulic acid but the reason why i like this if you do like the the anti-aging systems from dr obaji this does come in his phase three anti-aging system and i'll tell you why i like this um, every time you open this bottle you're decreasing the concentration of this product so this is not a product, either one of these, that you can try a couple times and forget about because you're not consistent with your skincare. If these stayed in the drawer, if once you open them and they stayed in the drawer for three weeks, you might as well just throw them out because you're not getting the potency that you're supposed to. So that's why it can, that's another reason why consistency is very important. But with this one, what Dr. Obaji did is he made it to where this is airtight and Again, it's still a C, so it's still something you need to use every single morning. It's an antioxidant, it helps protect your skin. Um, but with this one, it comes in a cream, there's like a cream, and it's activated when you rub it. So this product does not go bad. There's no oxygen, you can tell it's kind of deflating my whole bottle. There's no oxygen that touches this product ever. So it is consistent in its potency, which I love and all the links to these products will be at the bottom um, in the description. Um, I'm gonna move on to the eye. Again, I love, love, love this Nurse Jamie um, EGF Eye Complex. And she just came out with this Ionix little tool. So I tend to like, I have a lot of tools in the morning. So these are tools, and then this is my last tool. So I put a little bit of that eye cream and then I rub it with this, which just massages it in. You don't even need a lot of pressure, but it really helps to de-puff and stimulate the eye area. Okay, and so then the next thing, I don't use a moisturizer. I don't use a moisturizer on my face at all unless it has a retinoid in it. That's kind of my thing, because I feel, again, like you can't put moisturizer on the outside of your skin and have your skin behaving like it did when it was 20. It's a facade, it's a, sometimes it's a really pretty facade, but it's temporary and it's not having cell renewal. So I don't do, do a moisturizer. We went straight from the, the C serum. Um, now we're gonna do the neck. You know, Joan Rivers has that quote that you can hide a lot of things, but the hands always give it away. The neck always gives it away. This is by Revision Skincare. It's called Nectifirm. Um, so the link will be down below. I have also sometimes liked this Drivectin one that's a skin tightening. Um, I think that uh, Paracone MD makes a really good uh, blue cold plasma that goes on really nicely that I, I've also liked for the neck. But right now, this is, this is my favorite. So that goes on the neck. So last but not least um, is sunscreen. And um, even if I'm never, if I'm not planning on leaving the house that day, it doesn't matter. I always, always, always put on sunscreen. So my favorite right now for my face is by Zo Skin Health. This is the Oclips sunscreen and primer in one. It actually tricks the sun into just uh, affecting the melanin that's in the product and not your skin. And it doubles as a primer. So it comes out a little bit beige, but men can use this. It just kind of blurs things, which is kind of good. Um, and I put, you know, start with dots everywhere. Like I always think that the more dots you make in various places, instead of starting in one spot, the less tugging you're doing to your skin. If you don't want to do the Oclips by, by Zo Skin Health, I used um, the Neutrogena uh, Dry Touch Factor 50 for years and I still go back and forth and use that as well. But the, the trick is you have to have at least a factor 50 
and even if you're inside. So I, I always have on lipstick. I don't right now, obviously, but I always have on lipstick and we think that it's, it protects us, but I think it's always nice to start off with an SPF for your, for your lips. And this is by Dr. Kaplan. He has a whole line of these and some of them are, well, this is the only clear one. He does make a whole line of colored um, sunscreen for your, your lips, but it's a treatment. So it's kind of feels like, kind of feels like Aquaphor, four, like the, the one that I use at night. Um, and then we move on for the body. So I, this is my favorite sunscreen, but the problem with it is um, it's a tented sunscreen factor 30. I love this company. If I'm, if I'm gonna be active or I'm gonna like lay down on something that's, that's lighter color, that it transfers. So I laid down on my sister-in-law's white bedspread and left like a print of my body. Um, so I still love this as far as, as long as I know like I'm not gonna be laying down on something and now I'm really conscious of it. But this is by Sun Sabelle. It's a factor 30 with a tent. It looks so pretty on your skin. Now I'm on this one. This is the only lotion that I will use in the morning. It's a hydrating sunscreen. It's a factor 50. It's made for your face and your body. So it's, you know, all of the hypoallergenic, non-commodogenic, like dermatologist tested, all of that, that stuff. This is a really good one. So just make sure that it blocks both UVA and UVB rays and you never leave the house without it. Um, speaking of leaving the house, I always have this in my car and it's a, a mineral sunscreen by Brush On Block and it's a powder. So you just kind of shake it a little bit and you takes all the shine away, but it's a, it's a factor 30. I kind of like that. And all your makeup kind of stays intact. So this is always like in my, in my purse. So there you have it. That's my everyday morning routine. And I think that if you start each day with the idea of I'm gonna take care of my skin, I think that is a really good way to live young.